Assalamu alaikum viewers and welcome to LRFC sports program in English. It's been quite a while that Pakistan was waiting for any international team coming up to Pakistan and uh, playing rugby over here. So now we are honored to finally have Uzbekistan in Pakistan to play uh, our full Division 3 tournament with Pakistan. Uh, we're lucky to have a captain of Uzbekistan, uh, Mr. Bahadur Arzikov, and the senior player, Mr. Shorukh Akram. We are honored to have them here in Pakistan after almost five years uh, when uh, they came up last in 2014. And uh, now after a span of five years, finally they're back. Uh, unfortunately, the match which they played on last Sunday, uh, that was a closely contested game. Uh, but at last, finally, Pakistan won it by the margin of 44 against 13. I would like both the players to please uh, share their views about the game and also how they're spending their time in Pakistan, particularly in Lahore. Thank you guys for Thank coming you. up over Thank here. Thank you very much. Thank you too. I hope you guys are well taken care in Pakistan, especially by the Lahoris. Yeah. Is it so? Yeah. Uh, uh, if you can translate it to him. Mm. Uh, firstly, assalamu alaikum to all Pakistani people. Uh, we were met very good in uh, Pakistan. The hospitality was in high level. Uh, the, we have a big attention from the uh, Lahore uh, citizens, from the uh, hotel staff. It's all in very high level. Thank you very much. You're more, than, you're more than welcome, guys. You're more than welcome. Uh, well, you know, coming to Pakistan, uh, like I would like to have uh, your views about that. Well, when you people were coming up to Pakistan, what were your views that how Pakistan will be, you know, playing up their match in Pakistan? Because it's been quite a while that you have played against us. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, we have been in Division 3 for quite a long time, but never interacted, you know, mm -hmm. with yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah. So this being the first time that you people have played with us, mm -hmm. how do you rate Pakistan team? And uh, what do you see? Either that was a surprise for you, how Pakistan came up? Or uh, you were expecting a tough match just like that. Pakistan commanders na kana kan kill shi dal kana mah kuto dilar kana khadab oila yato dilar. Inda khas kana kan korshi dilar na mah kuto oila yapslar. Pakistan commanders hakal oin hakal. Biz oldan ki yanda yutgani Pakistanda oldan oin yanda biz muncali kushli tergali kurgani bil magani biz muncali tergali kurshi shom magani. Uh, when we had to come to Pakistan, we apologized that uh, the Pakistan rugby team is very strong, uh, very strong condi in, in very good uh, physical conditions, but we didn't think that so high in so high level. Uh, okay. We were a little bit shocked when we saw how they are playing, uh, how they are uh, moving in the f on the field. Uh, uh, we knew that uh, playing in Pakistan versus in his field versus Pakistan is a tough challenge, but uh, we thought that we are ready for that. But how we can see the first games uh, showed uh, that mm. we have some uh, problems in our defense, in our attacks, that and that we have to do a little more pressure in the first half and okay. second half. But I think uh, there's also one of the factor which you're missing: the weather. Yeah. Weather uh, back in Uzbekistan and weather here in Pakistan. I think there is quite a difference in that. And unfortunately, what I've heard, uh, you people were, uh, your flights got delayed. Due to which I think there were 12 hours difference which you have to face. You came up uh, a day earlier, but that was again 12, 24 hours before the game you came up. Yeah. And uh, you had one session as well mm -hmm. in the morning uh, prior to the match. So was that also one of the thing which uh, you know uh, caused you coming up like this on the field? How uh, factor in such a how touch in the cup kit can we risk to have? How much do us the money to start in course at the morning? Albatta, we need to get the tasks done. So, we should 
Uzumuzda hava yamalık saat, yağmur muzal nam gelecek çünkü belki de kuru sıcak gibi bollar masla şaşık kıyınlar. İbreden masla şaşık şey var şu bollar kıyınlar. Yeah, all this has its own influence on our game because uh, we trained for uh, two months in Tashkent in rain. Mm -hmm. uh, in Tashkent, uh, if you know, it's 20 degree now. Okay. In Pakistan, it's uh, I think it's 40. Yeah, it's about, touching 40. Yeah, yes, about 40. It's touching, yes. And it's a little bit hot for our team. <laughs> and how you said, our uh, flight was. Uh, uh, late. We had to wait in Tashkent International Airport for nine hours, okay. and we came here at 7 p.m. Uh, and we, uh, our game was in the, in the next day. Exactly. And Four o'clock in had, the next day. Yeah, we had only, I think, uh, 20 hours for uh, take a rest, mm -hmm. but we also had a training session, mm -hmm. and I think that the guys uh, uh, didn't have enough time for. Uh, co prepare, prepare, yes, only yes. Co prepare. But I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, in the next match, which is coming on tomorrow, mm -hmm. you people will be, you know, well climatized about the weather, uh, against the weather and how the things are, because the body needs rest as well. So certainly now I hope and uh, we can uh, see you guys performing pretty well against the game which you played on the last Sunday. Is it so? Yeah, in the Irtega Oini Lavar, the Pakistan Harsha, King Goinga, Uza Tayors, Tayor Bosilaker, Hawataman, and Timprat Urgan Mosla Shoyandus Ladep. Shwakada, Master says. Zanja Urgan Walik, Hawazi, Jolas Urgan Bola, Junior Jetron Pirlebus, Karsha, Willard, Willard Stig, who showing a Arab in the Hawaham Razak Stop Yolo, Junior Karsha, Winnochum. Yeah, the boys are, are okay, all is okay because the acclimatization was very good. Uh, we Now we can feel we can, uh, the uh, Pakistan clim, climate, it's okay for us and we are ready for the second game. Totally. That's, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, Mr. Fakhrukh, I would like you to tell me about yourself. Uh, when did you start uh, playing rugby, how you came into this? And uh, exactly how rugby is flourishing and it's developing in back in Uzbekistan. I'm sure you must be having quite a lot of clubs over there. There must be some f fixture, annual mm -hmm. fixtures about that. So if you just can share us about uh, how things are going on in there. Yeah, uh, I started to play rugby in 2015, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I get involved, you know, simply, very simply. Mm -hmm. I watched the, a match in New Zealand versus South Africa mm -hmm. and it was something beautiful, the mm -hmm. game, the tackles, the runs, it was something for me, something new for me. Mm -hmm. And I started to search in internet uh, mm -hmm. if we can play, if there is some place to play rugby in Uzbekistan. Okay. And that's how I started to play rugby. And which city you live Tashkent is the capital. Is the Tashkent. Yeah, is the capital. Okay, okay. Uh, and about, about, about our... In Uzbekistan, yeah, we have a very strong uh, mm. Rugby local rugby tournament. Mm -hmm. We start to play in November. It's for one one one month. Yes, mm -hmm. and we have you know if you know we have twelve regions in Uzbekistan, mm -hmm. and every region has his own team. Okay. But in addition, we also have uh, army teams, mm -hmm. which yes, is uh, taken where plays only military boys, military guys. Mm -hmm. He's also a military guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the, the tournament is in go very in very big. Uh, we have a big attention from the TV. For That's our nice. Tournament. So we have full live yeah, coverage yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, media live, they show but media coverage is yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. And uh, mm. and which position do you play? Flanker. You play flanker. flanker. And uh, uh, he plays a front row. Front row. Yeah. Uh, number three. Chap chapter one. Number three. Or? Chapter. Number one. one. Num chapter. Number one. Okay. Mm. Okay. Number one. And uh, how long he's been playing? Five years. Five years. Five years. So must be, you know, you must be enjoying rugby till now because rugby do has its own culture hmm. which uh, absorb everyone no matter how small you are yeah, or how yeah. big you are. Because if you're a small guy, you can come up as a scrum half or a yes, winger or something yes, like yes, that. And yes. if you're a big guy, you can be a prop, you can be a hooker and can be in forward. Yes. So that's the beauty of rugby, how it takes up the entire family. So uh, coming back to the game. Uh, do you really think uh, you people, where do you people, uh, uh, uh, what was the turning point into that particular game? Because at one time, 
in the second quarter of first half i think you people were leading by 13 to yes, death to death after the first and uh, we were thinking now you bouncing back from the game but afterwards pakistan took over in the fifth gear how do you think uh, way uh, what went wrong at that point which caused all this i think all start after the first half the guys our team take a little relax in the game mm. i think that they Uh, started to think that we already won the game oh. and that's why after Pakistan rugby team uh, put one try the second and after this the guys mentally fall down mm. and that's why I think we uh, lost okay in the game okay so uh, is there any change in the side uh, for the second match yeah we we have some uh, positional changes okay. but i think that we will see in the game you can see that and there's certainly some strategy is also yeah, going to be changed yeah we have prepared something special and that's nice we have a new strategy we have uh, new plans to do mm-hmm. we have new uh, yeah that's well, well, well yeah. that will again be a surprise yeah, for yeah, yeah, pakistan yeah, yeah. team I think you, so. when you'll be on yeah because on the, the boys are already uh, ready we have we don't have uh, we didn't have injuries in the last game that's good that's okay that's good that's good how, how many uh, players you came up with 22 22 22, 22. that's nice so uh, tell me about one thing uh, what do you think uh, our backs pakistan backs and uh, in comparison to your backs mm-hmm. who was the uh, focal <coughs> point you think uh, was the main person who played the entire game mm. ularda sifat kasbi ramada nimasi mi veri mi kim asosiy o'yinchi ularda sifat kasbi juda kuchli deb o'ylayman biz bemalol tinglash oldik sifat kasbi bilan u yerda o'ynaydigan aziz anasa kuchli ro'l ver kuchli ro'l tezroq o'qildi va o'yinda biz o'ynasak bo'lardi kim Mm-hmm. Uh, we had no problems with the forwards of Pakistan. We had no problem with tackling them, mm-hmm. but the backs uh, were a little bit faster than our uh, players, mm-hmm. and uh, particularly the number ten of your mm-hmm. team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had uh, he played a very smart game. Mm-hmm. He knew what to do in some uh, situ in different situations, mm-hmm. and I think that's one of the points, one of the big points of the game. Certainly, uh, number ten, Mr. Kashif Khwaja. He is the captain of the national Pakistan national side, and uh, he has been playing uh, since uh, the Pakistan have been on the rugby map. Oh. He was the player who uh, played as a captain for the first team back in 2003 yeah. uh, in Hong Kong, and till this date, he's super fit and uh, he's the best till now. we have produced certainly he uh, played the entire game according to you know the plan which they had uh, but i'm sure you must be having some surprise as well against you know to counter our backs as well is it so yeah we have some special gifts some special uh, things <laughs> for your backs okay. particularly for your backs because okay. with forwards there was no problem when we attacked mm-hmm. when we uh, defense good tackles by the boys mm-hmm. and we have something uh, special Okay. One more time for okay. your back and particularly for your number 10. Okay. Well, Kashif, be ready. Yeah. They're coming up for you. <laughs> and certainly, I'm, I must say, they must be having some bigger surprise for you as well. Because uh, what, what, what, what I have seen in Pakistan's side, they have a pretty good bench strength as well. Yes. So, the guys which are on the bench as well, they are fully capable to come up and, yes. you know, cover up the gap if, if there is any. Uh, well, coming back to the forwards, especially your captain, uh, your forwards, your scrummage, your uh, lineouts. Uh, I must say, you know, you, you people were look like a more drilled team, but uh, unfortunately, the result was not that you know that good at that particular time. What what was the cause? Only the fitness, the fatigue, the weather. or uh, is it some kind of excitement as well because what i can think your team is pretty young uh, they don't have much experience you know having a, an international game back at their uh, uh, fed so is it also one of the reason that it's been their first match uh, majority of the forwards which you, you have played or there must be something else like the pakistan also dominated that one uh oyunchilar nimaga birinchi zamina bilan 
اساسی که من فرق ده تو زمین وزن بزدی که فرق شون شده و اساسا نمگه سخبت کرده آمده چرچه بقالدی ده که این که فقط خواه آمده کن یا که بو برای برای برای دیده باقی نمه خیه جان خیه جان یا که اپتی اولی گیمه شون سوره هم تو اینجای ده بس اینجای ایشون گرده که چون شده بس Jadi, sains kuliah orang, mana sains orang kuliah pun, di zaman masa terus kerja. Usaha kalau masa tu, ni kuprok opti orang. Tapi opti kami itu tu mula lagi, kau yang salah tasa tu. Firstly, I think that after the first half, we started to believe, to believe that we already won the game, and our coach started to replace some players that didn't need that. But uh, it's a decision of the coach, and we can't uh, say or tell, uh, tell him something uh, that we don't like. Mm -hmm. And particularly of the player on the bench, yeah, there were some players that was their first international game, no experience, maybe some uh, some problems in mentality of their of of their mentality. And that's the problem. Uh, we also have the change of generation in Uzbekistan rugby. We have new players that didn't play in uh, international tournaments. We sp uh, didn't play with such strong team as Pakistan. And I think that's the cause why we had some problems with lineouts and scrum. Mm -hmm. That's why. And what I remember back in 2014 when you people came up, you played the uh, first game against India, which you won. Uh, yeah. Although that was closely contested. But uh, you know, Indian team was also pretty. His he's, he's ranked pretty high in the Asian division. But again, uh, having a tough competition at that time, your team, I think, uh, were more experienced uh, compared to this one. Yes. And uh, the second match which you played, that was against Lebanon, yeah. and uh, you lost by only a single point, yeah, twenty to twenty one, if I'm yeah, not yeah, wrong. Yeah. So you know, uh, how do you think when your this team? can come up to the level of uh, the particularly 2014 team because if I remember your number 10 at that moment uh, he was also the playmaker yeah. uh, I don't remember his name he Maxim was, exactly it's hard to you know repeat it now, yes. but, but he was the main guy who, who did the same role which uh, Kashif Khwaja has done yes, yes, yes. for uh, Pakistan national side so you know number 10 certainly that makes the difference how you know the entire team uh, entire game plan goes on so uh, when do you see how much more years you people need to you know come up to the term and uh, what do you think when can you go and uh, touch for division two uh, in the coming years when you people have that thing in your plan uh, you know i can say that maybe in two or three years it all depends on the preparation of internet test games for uzbekistan uh, yeah particularly maxim lifantov was a very experienced uh, guy that played in Russia and Kazakhstan okay. in local championships mm -hmm. and he also played now in Uzbekistan rugby championship uh, there is no problem but we know he's being older okay. nobody is forever young exactly. and we gave the, the chance to play for young players to show himself in international games and I think that in one or two years we will be able to uh, do the game that we did in 2013 okay. Okay, okay, Mr. Shahrukh. Uh, till now, uh, have you gone out and do your shopping, or uh, have you been uh, hosted by the real Lahori's out in the market, or you yet have to find it out? Uh, yeah, yesterday we were in a shopping mall. Mm -hmm. We saw the nightlife of Lahore. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought that it would be something very peaceful, but there is a lot of persons which are with their families, with their kids. Mm -hmm outside in the night maybe 10 10 i think 10 pm yes it was 10 pm okay and it's a lot of, it's something very you know uh, extraordinary for us because it's a new new place exactly. new new face new people mm -hmm. and the, all the team liked it very so you must be having something uh, different in your mind prior coming to pakistan it would be something different and now it's come up all together a different way yeah so, Sorry, uh, we thought that it will be no nobody in the night. Oh, okay. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> how you can see, it's, it's a very beautiful place, very beautiful city, Lahore. Mm. And 
it's something special for us. And what about the Lahori food? Have you tried that? Uh, yeah, we tried the Lahori food. Mm -hmm. You know, we had some problems in the first day because it's very spicy for us. Okay. Yeah, a lot. We already asked to the hotel staff to do a little less. Less, okay. yes. Okay. But it's very delicious. We also tried the national food, uh, Lahori. Lahari. You uh, tried that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it's delicious. It's something. You like that? Yeah, of course. That is pure beef loaf. Uh, yes, which you yes, have yes, yes, yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. that that's nice. The meat, the chicken is also very delicious. Mm -hmm. And thank you for the hotel staff for such uh, delicious dinners, breakfast, lunch, mm -hmm. and thank you. This, this is what you know. Pakistanis are meant for. No matter uh, what the international media come up with, uh, we are uh, uh, we are a country which loves sports. And uh, just like the any other country in the world, and we would love to host no matter who comes up. Uh, thank you very much for coming up. Anything you want to say about uh, Lahore, about uh, the rugby fraternity here in Pakistan, if you want to say, it's an open up forum for you. Yeah, firstly, thank you to the Lahore Rugby Football Club Sports Program for the opportunity to talk with you. It's a big, um, big, big attention for us. Thank you for the hotel staff for the. All the uh, personnel that helped us, that uh, organized the championship, it's in very, it's in a very high level. Thank you very much, and for and thank you for the hospitality. Thank you for Pakistan for having us here. It's uh, it's a good good opportunity to be here and see the city, see Pakistan. Certainly, and we're looking forward to have a tough match coming up. Good luck to you guys, and uh, looking forward to see you on the ground. Thank you very much. Thank you very much guys for being with us. Uh, it's Fazan Mayin signing up from LRFC's sports program in English. Thank you very much.